Towards the southwest side of the Arizona border at Oregon Pipe National Monument and just east of the 75-mile expanse of the Tohono O'odham Indian Nation Reservation in the Border Patrol's Tucson sector, once pristine lands considered some of the most gorgeous in the United States have been devastated by groups led by coyotes or alien smugglers and drug dealers who walk, drive, and leave human waste and litter and vehicles in their path. A 2004 government report noted that Tohono O'odham's 2.8 million acres suffered the loss of numerous endangered species and was left to clean up 7,000 abandoned vehicles and 65,000 pounds of narcotics in that year. With bureaucratic constraints, poor resources, and no physical barrier to keep the illegal activity south of the border, the Border Patrol could not save these western lands from the devastation by the coyotes and their clients. The colored patches on this map are all owned by various components of the federal government, mostly by the Departments of Interior and Agriculture. The majority of the federal lands, 30.3 million acres within 100 miles of the Mexican border, is located in Arizona's 362 border miles and spread amongst national forest, park service land, and wildlife refuges. And now the same threat is emerging on the eastern Arizona border in the Huachuca Mountains and the Coronado National Forest. Will these lands be devastated too? This Department of Homeland Security map shows hundreds of illegal trails cut by coyotes. Yet this map is never up to date. There are always new trails being cut. And these areas' vehicular barriers do nothing to stop the continual progression of pedestrian traffic. Only high walls are shown to be effective. And with 40% of all illegal traffic from Mexico concentrated in Arizona, there is little law and order here. Coyotes don't care about the environment. Trekking through it is simply a means to an end. And the Border Patrol works hard to do its job, but facing similar problems as they have further west, they are outnumbered and under-resourced. We do not know who these people are in these videos other than that they are illegal nor do we know what they carry on their backs, nor their intent in illegally entering the United States. But we know they come, and that they move fast over trails like this one where motion detection hidden cameras pick up their activity. These mountain habitats are already suffering. Sometimes the trash dumps left behind are a football field in size. ID, clothes, food litter, and water bottles, toilet paper, drug bottles, and any variety of backpack imaginable are left behind. The site shown here is active today. Located in Coronado National Forest at 6,000 feet elevation, it overlooks a canyon with vehicle access and public campsites below. Many are headed to rendezvous points with vans that are crammed with up to 30 aliens at a time. On a recent pass-through, Forest Service law enforcement found a typical discarded backpack and in it, this ski mask. In it was a sandwich bag containing about 20 rounds of 9mm ammo and a clip. Nearby was marijuana paraphernalia. Perhaps not as well known as the drug activity and litter are the rape trees, where coyotes hang undergarments of female clients they force to have sex with them. It isn't uncommon, it's just part of the business. Yet they still come, whoever they are, for whatever reason. This camera is about 10 miles north of the Arizona border. 55 people passed this camera on three different days in mid-January 2009. In early June 2009, cameras on two nearby trails caught 150 passing over three days. And those numbers are just par for the course in these borderlands. Every once in a while, the Border Patrol has success on these trails. But the federal government is not watching these videos as helpful as they could be. In fact, the day after the presidential inauguration on January 22, 2009, Border Patrol's access to these videos was blocked by the Department of Homeland Security.
Yet so far the animals don't seem to care about videos or trails, but things are changing. The animals frequently cross alien footpaths, such as this wild pig seen roaming on a trail, also frequented by groups of men and women, as seen here. On this path are a mountain lion and a deer. Just two days later, a small child is seen being carried in the same spot as the mountain lion had been. On the same path of the mountain lion come three bear cubs, romping and playing in the cool mountain sun. And then more humans. Turkeys, introduced into Arizona wilderness a couple of decades ago, wander innocently along another path used here by at least 13 individuals with the last in line brushing the group's tracks away, a typical modus operandi for smuggled groups. In this next series, a beautiful and hungry, mature bear sniffs for food on a well-worn illegal path. This bear may be unwittingly in jeopardy. He's often seen on this trail. He eventually finds the camera and tears it down. Yet treacherous terrain, mountain lions, and bears, nothing is stopping the coyotes. These videos are on a newly cut trail, and the trail is hot. The cameras are set up in a number of different positions along the trail. The Border Patrol has been seen on it, but not yet when the groups are moving through. This group of 30 moves through on May 20, 2009 at 4.01 p.m. At 4.34 p.m., the bear is back just 33 minutes behind the group of 30. The bears are following the scent of humans and their food. The smugglers assuredly know the bears are there, but clearly they'd rather risk mountain lions and bears than get caught. This bear runs down a path of a well-worn trail soon after another group passes through. A deer saunters by a couple of days later. Then another group pushes on. With four miles already behind them and the border, they have about four more to go on this trail. There is added danger on this trail due to drug cartel surveillance. Despite the difficulties, a total of 116 aliens and nine groups crossed the camera on this trail in nine days from late May to early June in 2009. The Border Patrol is seen on it twice, but escorting no one. They have to move on foot too, and playing catch up with these groups is very hard. Then the same bear comes back again, the third time in the same nine day period as the 116 aliens. This time, the bear gets the camera. But what if the bear encounters the human coyotes or a cartel next time? It isn't unlikely. These hidden cameras, just 14 cameras on 12 trails, where hundreds of other illegal trails are not covered by hidden cameras, picked up 575 illegals in the month of June 2009 alone. So it is legitimate to ask, is this area going to become like the Tahona Odin Reservation with devastating effects on the environment from coyotes and their trails and less and less bears? or mountain lions, or turkeys, birds, and deer? Will the vegetation sustain itself when forest fires, often caused by illegal activity, are becoming more and more frequent here? It seems no one is truly safeguarding these beautiful lands of southeastern Arizona. And as these hidden cameras make clear, no one is truly safeguarding this nation from those illegally trekking through them. What will it take to make it stop?